All right, Crazy Dave is uh, cutting out cardboard. And uh, what I did was I took a lid from a bowl that was about the right size for uh, a shield that I'm making for uh, Touch the Clouds, which you can see here. I'm, I did this piece about a year ago, and uh, almost a year ago. And it's been in the gallery in Park City, Utah, at Mountain Trails Gallery, uh, ever since. And Adam from the gallery, he's the owner, called and wants to get it cast into bronze. And so I'm going to be going down to uh, work on it down in Lehigh, Utah. Tomorrow I'm driving down, and I'll be gone for a couple of days. And... Uh, so anyway, I wanted to put a shield on him, and I know the width of his shoulders. And the shield would usually be about the width of a man's shoulders. Now this is just a little bit bigger. It ain't going to make any difference. Uh, it'll be fine. Um, it's not exactly a perfect circle, which is also fine. Um, they would make these out of the hump uh, skin of a uh, buffalo, because it would be real thick. In fact, it's, it's been known to uh, that shields to actually deflect the old style uh, lead ball uh, out of a rifle and, uh, and deflect it off uh, because of the toughness of uh, the buffalo hide once it's uh, dried out and made into raw hide. So it actually did work and uh, I've uh, uh, Lakota uh, friend of mine, uh, Joe Redfeather, uh, has one in his office, uh, in his special room, and uh, they're sacred things, uh, the shield, because uh, they create them through visions and stuff like that, the uh, designs on them and stuff like that. But, uh, so anyway, I'm going to just start adding clay to this. It's not going to be anything overly exciting to watch, but I'll go ahead and start it, and then I'll come back after I get the thing fully covered in clay. Um, it sticks really nicely to the uh, the uh, uh, cardboard, and uh, I've got to cover both sides of this with clay. All right, I've got the uh, shield completely covered in clay, or the cardboard, I should say. And now what I'm doing is just taking it uh, and leveling off the uh, the surface a little bit. This is uh, one of those glyptic uh, wire tools that has little notches in the uh, wire, so I get a nice uh, texture on the clay and uh, so that's all I'm going to do right now is just uh, smooth out the uh, front and the back. It's going to be a plain shield. It's not going to have lots of feathers on it and things like that. It's just going to be a war shield that uh, <coughs> is designed to protect him from uh, flying whatever. Touch the Cloud was uh, related to a Crazy Horse. I think he was his cousin. I'll put a picture of uh, Touch the Cloud up here now. This is the real gentleman and he was uh, very tall. He was over six feet tall, I think. Um, you can tell by looking at the photograph that uh, he was a large man. Now this is the shield I'm doing here and uh, you can see there's a strap, a rawhide strap back here for him to hold on to the uh, shield and uh, there's a skin that goes around here that's uh, held on there by a kind of a cinch that tightens up the uh, skin over the uh, shield itself. So that's what I'm going to put on the back of this. I've got this uh, 
pasta machine that I use to roll out the clay. Yeah, I'm just going to put it through ever so slowly. makes a long, flat, evenly flat piece of clay. Let's take it back over to the shield and I'll attach this uh, and then bunch it up. I'll go back and fill in all these indents in here because I don't want to make it too expensive to cast. Now I don't know whether I'm going to put this on his back, on his arm, exactly what I'm going to do with it yet and I'll figure that out when I get down there. All right, I've cut strips from the uh, strap. I'm having uh, the uh, thin piece of clay that I made. <coughs> and I'm just putting the cinches or the straps between the wrinkles to kind of give the impression that it's been sewn together around the outside yeah all right I'll be back it's hard to show this at the angle I'm having to work at so it'd be probably best if I just end the video here and come back all right what I'm doing is I've got this side done on at on the outside I still have the strap to do in the center but I don't want to do that till I get the design on the uh, Shield. So I'm going to put this block down just to keep these from pressing down on the uh, the uh, board. Never draw anything at an angle because it will look like you drew it at an, at an angle. See, these represent mountains here, and uh, the sky above. So if we do add color to this, you'll have guidelines to work within. The patina guy, that is. And then this represents water down here. There we go. 
simple yet direct. You know, just simple and direct. Now I can put the straps on. <coughs> Now the center thing is uh, wrapped rawhide. That's what I'm doing right now. That's where his hand would hold on to the shield. These will be rawhide too that come from the uh, sides the shield. I'm going to finish this up and uh, so I can pack this up and, and then go over to the studio and get the clay I'm taking down with me for the gallery. Alright, uh, until I see you next time, I don't think it'll be tomorrow. And I don't think it'll be the next day, it'll probably be a couple of days from now because I won't have my laptop to uh, uh, work with because it's dead. So let's just continue and uh, I'll see you in a couple of days.